Hello again, this is Gabriel from TruePixel and today I'm going to show you what is a target camera and how you can work with it. Unlike a basic camera that we create from this tab and we can go inside and look around freely how we want and move and pan. A target camera that we also create from this tab comes with a special asset called camera target. This means that this point here is a fixed point where the camera will follow everywhere it gets moved. So if we go inside the target camera and we move the fixed point, we see the camera turns and looks after it. We cannot make any other move except orbit around it, but no panning, no turning, nothing like the usual camera that we have in the Cinema 4D. A good thing about this camera is that the target that's mobile can also be replaced by an object that we want to follow when making an animation. Just click on the camera and look here in the target tab, you have a target object field, which now it's the standard camera target. If we create an object, let's create a figure. And we go to the camera tab target, we can drag the figure into this field. It replaces the basic camera target. And now, if we go inside the camera again, we can move around the figure that it's our target at the moment. If we move the figure, the camera follows it. So if you want to animate this new object that is also a target, you just create an animation for it. For example, we add a keyframe here. We move it here. We add a new keyframe. We move it here. We add a new keyframe. And in the middle of the animation, we move it here and add a new keyframe. We can see that in the animation timeline, the camera follows the object. Let's see how this looks from the camera. This is very easy if you want to keep track of your object and not animate both the object and the camera separately but you can still animate your camera if you want to be closer, farther from the object or simply orbit around it to create a more interesting action. Let's say during this animation, we also want our camera selected and want to be closer to the object. In this frame, we want to be here with the camera when the object starts moving and at the end we want to see it from this side add a keyframe now both animations are combined and they create a nice action view just remember that any object you place in this field here can be a target for your camera. Well, I hope you enjoyed this short tutorial. Make sure you follow my channel and wait for the next videos to see what's up. See you next time.